In this video, we are going to learn a reverse forward starter control wiring with timer. So let's start video and first see working. When you press forward push button, your forward contactor will start and this forward contactor will run according to timer time. Okay. When timer timing will complete, so your forward contactor will stop. Okay. When you press reverse push button, so your reverse contactor will start and this reverse contactor will run according to timer time. When timer timing will complete, so your reverse contactor will stop automatically according to timer time. So in this video, we will learn a complete wiring and working of this reverse starter control wiring with timer. So let's start video and first see which component is required for this control wiring. So we connect one forward contactor you can see here and one reverse contactor also we connect one overload relay which is connected with forward contactor we connect one timer for controlling forward contact so this timer is connected to control forward contactor and this timer is connected to control reverse contactor so we connect two timer for controlling forward contactor and reverse contactor we connect to three push button First is NC element stop push button. This push button is forward start push button. And this push button is reverse start push button. So we connect to three push button. So before the start control wiring, first is a basic concept of timer and contactor. So this is contactor you can see here. For operate this contactor, we need to provide phase and neutral supply in contactor coil, which is 220 volt AC supply. So, and this is contactor power terminal. So motor terminal is connected in this power terminal and we have some auxiliary points you can see here and we also have 13 and 14 number point which is ANO point and also we have one NC point you can see here. So in this contactor we have one NC and one ANO point and we have relay type timer so you can see here it is 8 pin relay base. So first we will learn relay base terminals after that we will learn timer connection okay. So 2 and 7 number point is relay coil point. So we need to provide phase and neutral in 2 and 7 number point. 1 number point is common point and 1 to 4 is NC point you can see here and 1 to 3 is NO point. Okay. So we have one common NO NC and also we have another common NO NC. So 8 number point is common point, 8 to 5 is NC terminal and 8 to 6 is a no terminal okay so first see in this timer you can see here two and seven number point which is coil supply so need to connect a phase and neutral one number point is common so one to four is nc terminal so you can see here one to four is nc and one to three you can see here one to three is no point okay and also eight number point is common point 8 to 5 is NC point and 8 to 6 number point is NO point. Okay, hope you clear the concept of this relay type timer. First, we provide neutral connection in forward contactor, also forward timer and reverse contactor and reverse timer. So, first, we provide neutral connection in forward contactor, forward timer also reverse timer and reverse contactor okay after that we will learn how to provide phase wiring in contactor in timer okay so first we connect neutral connection practically you can see here we connect one connector of neutral in mcb control mcb so we connect one connector in both contactor a two point okay so neutral connects directly in a two point and also we connect to neutral in both relay seven number point you can see here which is coil point so neutral connects in both relay and contactor directly now learn a phase control wiring first phase connect in overload relay nc point so that our starter when overloaded so it will trip and our motor will save and after that we connect a stop push button and a stop push button output connect in forward push button and reverse push button input terminal okay so first we learn how to provide this connection practically so we connect to one phase connector in control mcb this phase connector first connect in overload relay nc point which is 95 number point and output of this nc point which is 96 number point so we connect another connector from overload relay nc output terminal which is 96 number point 
एंड कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर टू स्टॉप पुश बटन एन सी एलिमेंट इनपुट टर्मिनल ओके सो फर्स्ट वी कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्टर एंड स्टॉप पुश बटन एन सी एलिमेंट इनपुट टर्मिनल ओके फर्स्ट वी कनेक्ट ही है एंड आउटपुट ऑफ दिस स्टॉप पुश बटन एन सी एलिमेंट कनेक्ट इन फॉरवर्ड पुश बटन इनपुट टर्मिनल ऑल्सो रिवर्स पुश बटन इनपुट टर्मिनल सो वी कनेक्टेड टू कनेक्टर ही है फर्स्ट फॉर फॉरवर्ड पुश बटन एंड सेकेंड वन इज फॉर रिवर्स पुश बटन वेन वी प्रेस फॉरवर्ड पुश बटन अवर फॉरवर्ड कॉन्टेक्टर शुड रन एंड वेन वी प्रेस रिवर्स पुश बटन सो अवर रिवर्स कॉन्टेक्टर शुड रन सो फर्स्ट लर्न फॉर कंट्रोल वाइडिंग फॉर फॉरवर्ड पुश बटन वेन यू प्रेस फॉरवर्ड पुश बटन फॉरवर्ड कॉन्टेक्टर विल रन बट बिकॉज ऑफ विंटर लॉकिंग वी यूज रिवर्स कॉन्टेक्टर एन सी टर्मिनल बिकॉज फॉरवर्ड कॉन्टेक्टर विल रन ओनली वेन रिवर्स कॉन्टेक्टर इज इन स्टॉप कंडीशन सेम कंट्रोल वायरिंग फॉर रिवर्स कॉन्टेक्टर वेन प्रेस रिवर्स पुश बटन रिवर्स कॉन्टेक्टर शुड रन बट फॉर इंटरलॉकिंग वी यूज फॉरवर्ड कॉन्टेक्टर एन सी टर्मिनल बिकॉज वेन फॉरवर्ड कॉन्टेक्टर विल स्टॉप so your reverse contactor will run because of interlocking okay so first learn a control wiring for forward contactor and after that we will learn control wiring for reverse contactor okay so we connect one connector from forward push button output terminal and this connect from reverse contactor nc terminal because of interlocking okay when reverse contactor is in a stop condition so your forward contactor will run okay so when reverse contactor is stop so this nc supply will pass and connect in forward contactor a1 terminal okay neutral connects directly in a2 terminal and phase connect with reverse contactor nc terminal you can see here same connection for reverse contactor so we connect one connector from reverse push button and because of interlocking we use forward contactor nc terminal which we see in drawing okay so we connect one connector for reverse contactor and connect this connector to forward contactor nc terminal because of interlocking okay when forward contactor is in a stop condition so this supply pass in this nc terminal and connect in reverse contactor a1 coil okay same connection for reverse contactor as we done for forward contactor okay now our manual connection is done when we press forward push button so forward contactor will run when we press reverse push button so reverse contactor will run let's see when we press forward push button so forward contactor will run when you press reverse push button so reverse contactor will run but only for when you press push button now learn how to operate timer okay so we connect one connector from forward contactor coil to forward timer coil okay and for reverse contactor coil to reverse timer coil okay when your forward contactor will operate so forward timer should run when reverse contactor will operate so reverse timer should run okay so we connect one connector from forward contactor coil to forward timer coil and for reverse contactor coil to reverse timer coil okay so we connect one connector from forward contactor coil a1 terminal to forward timer coil and for same connection for reverse contactor reverse contactor a1 coil to reverse timer two number point okay so when forward contactor will start so forward timer will start when reverse contactor will start so reverse timer will start okay now learn how to provide a holding connection okay so we connect a holding supply from nc push button output terminal and connect this supply to forward contactor in o terminal and reverse contactor in o terminal okay and connect this connector to forward timer common point in nc point okay when your timer timing is run so your supply will comes and provide holding same connection for reverse contactor reverse contactor in o terminal connect in reverse timer in c terminal okay when timer timing is run so your starter will run when timer timing will complete so your starter holding will cut with timer in c point okay now for holding connection we connected two connector one for forward contactor and one for reverse contactor okay so we take this holding supply from n c output terminal or n o input terminal okay so we connected this holding supply 
from forward push button input terminal so we connected two connector here first of all forward contactor n o terminal okay when forward contactor operates so n o makes n c and supply will pass same connection for reverse contactor when reverse contactor operate so this supply will pass okay now connect this n o terminal output to forward timer n c point and same for reverse contactor okay when timer timing will run so this supply comes in nc terminal when timer timing will complete so this holding supply will cut for both the timer okay you can use any of the timer point common in nc terminal you can see here 8 and 5 is common in nc also we have 1 and 4 number point is common and nc point okay so we will use 4 and 1 number point 4 is nc point 1 number is common point okay so we will use timer 4 number point and 1 number point okay and same for reverse timer we will use common and nc point okay so first learn forward contactor wiring now in output connect in forward timer nc point same for reverse timer so we connect no output connector to reverse timer four number point nc point okay now when timer timing is run so this supply comes in one number point when timer timing will complete so this supply will cut so this is holding supply okay so this four number supply comes in one number point and connect to one connector to timer coil and this supply comes in contactor coil okay so we connect same connection for both timer okay so you can see here we will connect one connector from one number point to timer coil okay for holding supply when timer timing is run so this supply will pass when timer timing will complete so this supply will cut okay so same connection for both timer you can see here now our holding connection is now done now we will learn how this work okay first we set timer in 10 second you can see here one number point for one minute and 0 0.5 time that means 30 second so we set timer in 10 second you can see here both timer set out 10 second when press forward push button forward timer also run forward contactor also run okay now when timer timing will complete so forward timer will stop also forward contactor stop when you press reverse push button so reverse contactor and reverse timer will start at same time if you press forward push button so it will not start because of interlocking when timer timing will complete so your reverse contactor will stop automatically you can see here also we provide interlocking connection because both contactors should not operate at same time okay so now our connection is now done you see how it works now learn how our starter complete works with drawing okay now you can see here we operate forward contactor and forward timer at same time same connection for reverse contactor and reverse timer okay now learn how to provide holding supply so you can see here we provide a holding supply in forward contactor no terminal and reverse contactor no terminal if you set timer in 10 second okay at 10 second so for 10 second this supply will pass and operate forward contactor and forward timer holding supply okay when 10 second will come and this nc makes a no and your holding supply will cut this nc point okay so when your timer timing is run so holding supply will provide to contactor and timer when timer timing will complete so this holding supply will cut okay same connection for reverse contactor and timer if you say 10 second in reverse timer okay so for 10 second this supply will pass in timer nc point after 10 second this supply will cut automatically okay you can see here we provide same connection for both forward and reverse contactor okay hope you clear the concept of how reverse photo starter can control with timer if you like this video please place like button if you have any query please ask in comments box for today's enough we'll meet next video thanks for watching